Hello everyone. Uh, Dion from the 3D printer. Just uh, wanted to give you a quick guide on how to calibrate your CreateBot printer. Um, probably a good idea. We've found a few of the printers to be not calibrated properly in terms of the e-steps, uh, which essentially means that if you're telling your printer to extrude 100 mils, um, we've found printers that will extrude uh, maybe 110 or 120 in some cases, or maybe even just 90. Uh, in most cases, it's more than um, you've told it to actually extrude. So, what we're going to do is um, preheat the printer just for demonstration purposes uh, this time around, uh, which I've already done. Um, but basically, um, in the menu, you would go prepare. Oops, sorry. You'd actually go prepare, and you go preheat, and you choose, you know, like your, your first or second extruder, um, or in some cases, if you're daring enough and you've got a third um, extruder on your Create Pot, you know, your third one. So, um, moving back, the reason why we basically preheat is that if we've already got filament loaded, it makes it a lot easier to remove the filament. Uh, from the print head. So moving straight along um, Basically you want to get your spanner should be in your toolkit um, and you want to undo the filament guide tube so Once you've undone that you want to take out some fi the filament feed um, And basically you'll snip off the end so that it's nice and flush um, Gives you a good measuring point basically uh, So in this case we've We've uh, made it pretty close to flush. Actually, it is flush. It just looks like it's sticking out. If we sort of push that in there a bit, we can snip it a little bit more, maybe. Um, so that's nice and flush. Um, next step, we're actually going to tell it. Uh, to extrude 100 millimeters. Now, taking note that we also preheated the printer before, um, your stepper motors actually won't um, extrude any filament. It's a failsafe um, unless there's this detected heat on the uh, nozzle. So let's just go into the menu system here, and we're going to go in this case move axes by one mil. I'm going to pick the extruder, which is number one, and we're going to clock this up to 100 millimeters, just like that. So what you'll note now is we've got filament coming out the uh, guide tube. And the idea behind this is that we want to check to see if, in fact, 100 millimeters has come out of the. Um, filament guide tube and this pretty much tells us uh, whether or not the steps are set right on your stepper motor. Um, pretty useful tool, the vernier calipers, um, the digital displays uh, not working on ours, I need to get a new battery for that, but nonetheless that's why they put numbers on the actual display itself, so we'll mark that there at 100 mil. I'll just do that up so it's nice and tight. And what we're going to do is see if the filament reaches the 100 mil point. Now I haven't actually done this printing yet, so we'll see if it's set up right. Okay, so apparently that's a hundred mil. Let's check. So if we go from there and we bring that down, that is more than a hundred mil. You can see. So let's just figure out what that is. Let's loosen this off. 
and the measurement in this case is give or take about 110.5 this is where the digital vernier caliper will come in handy but let's say it's 110.5 now we've got that measurement what we're going to do now is go in and check to see the get the value of the uh, current uh, steppers on the system. So we'll just go back to info screen. Let's see if we can find this. Control, motion, E steps. So you'll notice it says 650 on the E steps. Uh, I'll come back in a short moment to show you the math behind that. Okay, so uh, I just basically want to point out, we've basically said here um, the, the current E-step um, setting in the menu on the create dot is 650. The actual distance that we extruded was 110.5, give or take, and the distance we asked was 100. So what we've got to do is basically go uh, 100, divided by what we actually got which was 110.5 times by the current steps 650 and so distance requested was 100 actual distance was here and the current setting on the machine is here and this will give us the value that we want to set on the um, on the printer so now if I quickly do a, do a math equation it's uh, 100 divided by 110.5 gives us 0 0.904 let's say 904 uh, and we're going to times that by 650 gives us a value of 588.23 so uh, I'll be back in a moment and I'll show you we were setting that and how we save this so again. So now we're going to go into the menu system here. We're going to go into control, motion. We're going to go down the steps. And we're going to change that to 588. Point two. And we're going to go back up to control, and then we're going to go save setting. Okay, now that setting is saved. What we should be able to do is tell it to extrude again and measure the distance, and we should get a lot closer to 100 mil. So I've just snipped the end off there, it's pretty close. And you don't need to see the screen, but I'm just going to say extrude. 100 mil. And just waiting to heat the nozzle up
Now, obviously, you can almost apply the uh, same principle, if you will, to um, the X, Y, and Z axes. Uh, essentially, what you'd be doing is you would maybe uh, put the extruder in one position. You'd mark it on the uh, on the rod or um, something like that, and then you would uh, tell it to move in a certain direction in uh, you know 100 mil, for example, um, or you can even do you know 50 mil, and then you would do the same math equation that we showed you before, and that will tell you uh, what your steps should be. So um, we haven't really found much of an issue with the X, Y's, and Z. Um, uh, steps um, you may find an issue um, it could be just a slight variance in in the um, assembly of these devices um, but it's worth it's worth if you want to check just to see if it's uh, positioning accuracy is spot on or close enough okay so now it's preheated so I can go back into prepare move axes move one mil pick the extruder and I can make it extrude 100 mil. Okay, so that's more of a glitch there. Anyway, we've told it to extrude 100 mil, and we'll see how far off that is. And remembering before that we um, it extruded at uh, it was 100 110.5. We want to get it here. 110. Uh, like I said, if you had a digital uh, vernier caliper that was actually working, it'd give you a better result. Um, so we'll just see where we're at with this. There you go, look at that, pretty spot on actually, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Give or take a mil, we're about there. Okay, thanks for watching.